The arena was electrified with anticipation. Fans of martial arts from all over the world had gathered to witness a historic showdown, one that would settle debates held in dojos, gyms, and living rooms for decades. The fighters, Jim Kelly, the iconic martial artist and film star of the 1970s, known for his roles in Ye Enter the Dragon Ye and Ye Black Belt Jones G, and Michael Jai White, the modern martial arts master celebrated for his roles in Ye Spawn Ye and Ye Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing. Jim Kelly, with his towering afro and effortless cool, was a symbol of martial arts cinema during its golden era. His background in karate and kickboxing, combined with his athleticism and charisma, made him a formidable opponent. Kelly's strengths lay in his speed and agility. His fighting style was fluid and dynamic, blending traditional martial arts techniques with a street-smart edge. His ability to read his opponent's moves and counter them with precision was legendary. However, Kelly's reliance on his agility sometimes left him vulnerable to stronger, more direct attacks. His preference for high-risk, high-reward maneuvers could be both his greatest strength and his Achilles heel. Michael Jai White, on the other hand, represented the evolution of martial arts into the 21st century. With a background in multiple disciplines including karate, taekwondo, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, White's fighting style was comprehensive and adaptive. He combined the grace of traditional martial arts with the brute force of modern combat sports. White's physical presence was intimidating. His muscular build and height gave him an undeniable advantage in terms of power. His technique was precise, his strikes calculated to inflict maximum damage. Yet, White's sheer strength sometimes led him to underestimate the finesse of quicker opponents, making him occasionally susceptible to rapid, unpredictable attacks. The bell rang, and the fighters circled each other, measuring their distance and gauging the other's intent. Kelly moved first, his lithe form darting in and out, testing White's defenses with quick jabs and kicks. White remained calm, his eyes following Kelly's every movement, biding his time. The crowd watched in hushed awe as the two masters showcased their contrasting styles. Kelly's speed was a sight to behold. He flowed like water, his movements almost poetic in their fluidity. He launched a series of rapid kicks, each one aimed with deadly precision. White blocked and dodged, his defenses solid but not impenetrable. Kelly's fans cheered as he landed a swift kick to White's ribs, causing the bigger man to stagger slightly. But White's face remained impassive his strategy unfolding with every second. White's counterattack came with the force of a sledgehammer. He closed the distance between them with surprising speed, using his superior strength to his advantage. A powerful roundhouse kick from White connected with Kelly's midsection, sending the smaller man skidding across the mat. The impact echoed through the arena, drawing gasps from the audience. Kelly was quick to recover, but it was clear that White's strength was a significant challenge. The fight continued, a dance of power and agility, strategy and instinct. Kelly's relentless speed kept White on his toes, but White's disciplined defense and counter-strikes began to take their toll. White's punches landed with bone-crunching force, each one a testament to his training and physical prowess. Kelly's movements, though still quick, began to show signs of wear. His breathing grew heavier, his strikes less precise. In a decisive moment, White caught Kelly's leg mid-kick, using his superior strength to unbalance his opponent. With a swift, calculated move, White swept Kelly's standing leg out from under him, sending him crashing to the mat. The crowd erupted as White followed up with a series of controlled strikes, forcing Kelly to yield. The referee stepped in, signaling the end of the fight. The victory was a testament to White's comprehensive martial arts training and his ability to adapt and overcome an opponent's strengths. His strategy of weathering Kelly's initial speed and agility then using his power to dominate, proved effective. White's disciplined approach and physical superiority ultimately secured his win, showcasing the evolution of martial arts from the elegance of the past to the powerful, multifaceted discipline it is today. As the fighters embraced in a show of mutual respect, the crowd's cheers reached a crescendo. The battle between Jim Kelly and Michael Jai White had not just been a fight, it was a celebration of martial arts history and its ongoing legacy. Each fighter had brought their unique strengths to the arena, and in the end, it was White's ability to blend technique with raw power that secured his victory.